what we're really trying to get today is we're trying to take a look at these Elite Series anglers to see what type of baits, what type of patterns that Lake Decatur is really going to show us uh, during the next couple of days for this tournament. And as we can look at Lake Decatur, we can see that the water level is, is quite low, three to four foot down from what I'm looking at normal conditions by looking at the bank and some of the brushes and stuff like that. Um, one of the things I, I notice about Lake Decatur is that it's kind of a stained lake. It's uh, stained water, not a really clear lake. So it kind of tells me that you could have a great reaction bite uh, here. It tells me that a lot of the bait fish, uh, uh, you might not have real, real big bass here. Um, but there probably are some areas that hold some good fish. I see a lot of docks, a lot of wood, a lot of rock. Certainly a great reaction type. You can certainly throw spinner baits, crank baits. Um, I see that working very well here as, as, uh, uh, as well. I'm Skeet Reese uh, from Auburn, California, Northern California, just a couple miles from here. Um, here for the All-Star Week this week. I was fortunate enough to get voted in by the fans. and You've got to finish the top four to move on to Decatur uh, to have a shot to, to win the overall prize. So uh, We had yesterday practice on Shelbyville. And it blew 20 to 30 miles an hour. It's just a fun, beautiful day out there. And then uh, today we're on Decatur, and it blew pretty hard this afternoon as well. But uh, uh, get game going tomorrow. One of the things that I think during the week that you're going to see is with the wind conditions kind of laying down here today, I think a lot of these guys are going to have to work really hard to pick up these fish. Decatur is actually, everybody said that Shelbyville was the good lake, that uh, Decatur was going to fish a lot tougher. And I think a few of us found it just the opposite. I think, uh, I think Decatur was actually fishing better than Shelbyville right now. And uh, it probably helps that nobody's been on Decatur for a little while and it's been, uh, the boat ramps have been closed due to low water. But uh, caught a few good fish out there today and uh, so I'm hoping that uh, I can make it to Saturday and Sunday. You, coming to a body of water we've never seen before, that I haven't seen before. Uh, you, the simplest way to break down a lake is by fishing visual cover. So looking for stuff that's along the shoreline, whether it's grass, it's trees, docks, uh, rock rip wrap. If you can find rock, wood and grass here, you probably can do really, really well. I've had probably about 15 rods rigged the last couple of days and just kind of going through a whole assortment trying to figure out what it is. Uh, I think there's you'll see a lot of fish caught on a little square bill crankbaits. Uh, there'll be some fish caught flipping. Uh, guys are throwing spinner baits. Uh, there'll be some jigs and worms. They're being caught. That's going back to being September. You can catch them from top water baits to little worms out deep. And uh, I think pretty much you'll see most of the guys this weekend or this week are going to have a lot of rods rigged just scrambling. We call it junk fishing. just because you just you never know what you're going to be doing. Most of the places that the Elite Series goes to in a country has a, a massive showing of anglers and support, as well as followers on the water. But you're certainly going to see a big turnout on the weigh-ins and stuff like that. And it's going to be a great stimulus for, uh, for the local economy.